guys, I am back with another video, and today's video is going to be, um, I guess a flip through of the Unicorn Recollections Planner from Michaels. Now, if you are new to my channel, I am in Australia, so, um, it's actually quite hard to get your hands on this. Uh, there is no such thing as Michaels in Australia. Michaels in America also doesn't ship to Australia. So I did have to use a parcel forwarding service to get this here. Now, I did spend more money than this planner is technically worth, but I really, really, really wanted this planner because it's just the cutest planner. So, um, basically, I bought this when this was on sale. I paid, I can't remember exactly, I think it was like $14 USD or something like that. And then by the time it um converted into australian dollars it was like 30 30 dollars australian and then on top of that i had to then spend an extra 32 dollars australian um to have it parcel forwarded to me so michael's shipped this to my um us address and then that parcel forwarding service then shipped it on to me um, so it did take a month to get here. Um, so if you are going to use that service, keep that in mind. Now, I was so, so excited when I got this planner. It is the Unicorn Planner, as you can see, and it has a shaker like cover, as you can see. And I was just so excited. Now, when I got it, though, I was actually slightly disappointed because there is a fault with my planner. So the cover is exactly what I want. It's beautiful. I love it. But when you open this planner up, beautiful on the inside, you have, it just says, this planner belongs to. You have like the year at a glance for 2017 and 2018. And I actually quite like this. It's um, just like normal black, but it's still really, really nice. Um, then you have important dates here for 2017 and 2018. And I like having this as well because um, sometimes it's just nice to have that those dates like up front and on hand when you need them instead of having to search for them. And this is where it goes wrong. Now, if you are in America, you probably are thinking, um, what's this? Well, you would be right. This is not the right planner. So this is the Planner Girl planner. So I got the right cover, but the planner is not correct. So the inside of this planner does not go to the Unicorn planner. So I was really disappointed um, when I got this. However, there is no point me contacting Michaels about this because I'm in Australia and they don't ship here and I had to use that parcel boarding service to get this. And not only that, if I was to do that, I have to actually send this back to Michaels, which would then cost me an, a further 30 something dollars. And then they'd have to ship it out again, which would then cost me another 30 something dollars on top of that um, to get the right planner. So in the end, I'd be paying over a hundred dollars closer to $130 for this planner and it just wasn't worth it to me. Now, I was disappointed that I didn't get the correct planner, but at least the cover is right. I love the cover. It's still a beautiful planner, but it just wasn't the one that I wanted, but it's okay. I'm making the most of this situation. So I guess I'll show you what I've got. So you've got, this is um, July. This is the monthly, like monthly glance at, like view at a glance or whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't have the previous recollection planner, so I don't know, like I can't compare this because I couldn't get my hands on that one. Um, so I don't really know the difference, but I really love this layout though. Now you will see that I have already done a layout in here as I was testing leftover stickers. Um, and I quite like it. I haven't put any washi or anything down. Um, I was just using the leftovers that I had and I really like the way it looks because I'm actually going to be using this planner for my Etsy store. 
nothing else, just my Etsy store. So I really, really liked like how easy this was to do. Not only that, but because I am a diehard Happy Planner fan, the one thing, and there's really only one thing, or maybe there's one or two, um, like the main thing though that annoys me about the Happy Planner is the fact that there's no spaces in between each column. And there is with this. Granted, it's just a dotted line and you have to line it up with the headers, but I didn't find any issue with doing that and it worked out quite well. So that is that. Now on to the next bit you do have a note section at the end of every month which I really do appreciate I like that because then um because I'm using this as my Etsy planner you'll have to excuse my mess over there I've got candles and stuff um this will allow me to jot down my ideas and everything that I want for the following month um for my Etsy store so I really really like that idea um, this is the next one. So this is August. So just drinking water. This is what the month looks like. I'm just going to start flipping through now. Um, this is September, October. I actually do really like this. What I'm going to do though is for the ones that I don't like, I'll probably print out a nice picture to match that season um, in that section. I don't know. I haven't thought about that much yet. Um, this is November, December, January, February. I think this one is actually really cute. Uh, March. This is me like all the time when I'm planning because <laughs> I've got so much stuff. Um, April, May, June, July. I actually like this one as well. I think it's really cute, like with the sun and the clouds and stuff. August. And I thought this was really cute. There goes my new spend week and it's got like Michaels and then there's like a Croft Smith. Um, paper pad or something in the box which I find really funny because um, I work right next to a craft store it's called Riot Art and Craft and they sell Craftsmith and because I, I work in a kiosk so I can physically see what's in this store and it's just like it calls my name and every time I decide to go on a no spend I end up spending money in there <laughs> um, this one is September October November, I do like the cute little llama. December, I do like this one. This one is a lot more festive than the previous ones. And then you have a notes section, this actual notes tab. So you do get, I think it's like 10 maybe lined pages. Um, and then you get graph papers, which um, I quite like as well. These are really good. Um, and then going further on, you have stickers and let's see if I can turn this around. So you have your day off, game day, happy hour, vacation, business trip, event, appointment, party time, happy birthday, concert, wedding, Big day and night out stickers in that, which I actually quite like having these stickers here. I think they will be useful. Then you have these stickers, which I really like as well. I like the color choice. Um, so you've got like these page flags, you've got like your headers, your full boxes. I really like these checklists here. You've got, um, oh, excuse me, hiccups. And um, we've got all these little bits here, some to to-do boxes, noted, and some more quote boxes. Um, then you have another page which has similar sorts of things like your boxes, um, some banners, vacation banners. It's just like, you know, they're cute things and I really appreciate the fact that this planner does come with stickers. I think it's such a good value. And then you have your emoji stickers. So you've got all of your emojis 
Then you've got your icons, which I really, really like the fact that these have icons because these will definitely, definitely get used. And then you have in the back here this pocket. It is like a thicker style pocket. So there's one on this side and this side. Um, so it is like double sided and I really like it. I think this is such a good idea to have. And then over here you do have a pouch. Um, it's not really a zipper pouch because it doesn't have a zipper on it. It's more like a press, like it press seals. But I like having this because I can put all of the icons and kits that I'm going to be using in this planner in this section here. Or if I have any receipts or anything that I need to keep um, for business purposes, that can go in here. So I really like having that idea. And then at the back, on the back cover, you have this dashboard, um, which I quite like having. I think this is really handy to have, so maybe I might put some sticky notes in there. I'm not sure yet. And then at the very back, this is the back cover, which I think is beautiful. I really do love the cover. And it is um, detachable, as you can see. This is going to be hard to put this back down one-handed, but... We will do it. There we go. Um, so I really like the fact that it is, um, you know, customizable like a happy planner. It's not fully customizable because it does have this coil here. So you can't take the pages out, but you can take the covers off. Um, so yeah, so that is it guys. Um, even though it's only half of the planner that I wanted, um, it's still nice. I still really like the Recollection Planner. I think this is a really nice planner. And I think that if you are an American or even a Canadian um, and you have a Michael Stores near you, you guys are so lucky because that store is seriously on its game lately with its it's planning stuff and it's washies and it's planner stickers and everything. I think it's amazing. Um, and I know that they always have coupons, which I love. Um, you know, that's such a cool thing. So you never have to pay full price at Michael's. Unfortunately, here in Australia, it's not like that. Um, you rarely get coupons for anything here. So quite often you have to pay full price for everything here, um, which is ridiculous. But I do recommend this planner. Um, I haven't seen anyone else have this same problem that I did with getting the different cover on a different planner. Um, so maybe it was just a one-off thing. Um, so just if you're gonna, um, like for me, I couldn't check it because, you know, I bought it from another country. But for you guys, most of you I, I know buy from in-store. So if you do, just make sure you check your planner to see that it has the right inside to what you are actually after. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!